And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks. Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford, has a golf appointment with his boss this morning, and he's promised to meet him on the golf course, rain or shine. As our scene opens, Daddy's alarm clock is calling insistently. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, boy, am I tired. Hello, Daddy. Here. I made you some coffee. Coffee? <laughs> Looks like plain water to me. Make believe, Daddy. Make believe it's coffee. All right, it's, it's coffee. Drink it? Okay. <laughs> well, that's wonderful coffee, Snooks. You like it? I'll make some more. No, don't go to any more trouble, Snooks. That ain't no trouble, Daddy. I got it from the goldfish bowl. Now, what? <laughs> ain't it good coffee? Oh, what's the matter with you, Snooks? Is that all you could think of to give me for breakfast? Water from the goldfish bowl? I was only playing house, Daddy. Well, that's no way to play. No child makes a father drink the water from a goldfish bowl. I did. Now, don't get smart. Snooks, I'd just like to go for one whole day without giving you a spanking. All right, Daddy. I'll let you. Ah, go back to bed. <laughs> Why? Because it's too early for you to be up. Why are you up? Well, I have a golf appointment, and I've got to hurry. Oh, you read me the funny. No, I haven't got time. Why? Because I'm going to play golf. Who is Daddy? With my boss. And it's very important that I be there on time. He gets very mad if I'm late. Who does? My boss. Who's he? He's the man I work for. Get out of my way. i got to hurry and wash. Oh, read me the funny. No, now go back to bed this instant. If you don't read me the funny, your boss, your boss is going to get mad. Well, why should my boss be mad? Because you'll be late. Snooks, who teaches you these wonderful tricks? Nobody. I make them up. <laughs> oh, you're looking for a spanking this morning. Oh, I need a buddy. I will not. Now, if you waste another second of my time, I'll tell you good. Now, stay out of the bathroom till I get through. What you gonna do, Dad? I'm gonna shave. I don't want you bothering me. Why? Because I'm late already. I should have left ten minutes ago. Where are you going? To play golf. Who is? I told you, in my box! Who's he? Snooks, if you ask me one more question, I, I'll jump in the bathtub and drown myself. Let me run the water, Daddy. <laughs> oh. And they think they got trouble in Europe. Huh? Nothing. Get out of here and let me shave. I want to watch. Oh, Snooks. <laughs> How can you be so nasty to your poor old daddy? I work like a slave to see that you have everything and you won't let me have this a little fun. <laughs> Oh, what's so funny about it? You sound like Mommy. Well, never mind that. <laughs> Mommy's up in the country enjoying herself while I... Holy smoke. You want to do something for Daddy Snooks? What's the matter, Daddy? Listen, Mommy called last night and told me to order a bathing suit for her. I'll be on the golf course, so you call the store as soon as it opens. All right. Now, listen carefully. Order a bathing suit. Large girl size, salmon color, fastened by one large pearl button with two little holes in it. Can you remember that? Mm-hmm. Have it charged to me. Just tell them who I am and it'll be all right. Now, what are you going to say? I want a large bathing suit for a girl fastened in it with a pearl salmon. Just tell me who I am and I'll be all right. <laughs> Not pearl salmon, button. Uh-huh. Button, button. Button, button. Who's got the button? Let's play, Daddy. I have no time to play. Will you order that suit? What suit? What did I just ask you to do? Um... You want a large swimming hole with a pearl-colored girl on two salmons in it? No, no. A little swimming suit for a large salmon. What are you talking about? For a girl with no buttons. <laughs> ah, forget it. If she wants to swim, let her wear an apron. <laughs> well, I gotta finish shaving. Oh, brother, I'll never make it. Make what, Dad? My appointment. Where are you going? I told you fifty times to play golf. Who is? My boss! Who's he? The man I work for! Oh. <laughs> I want to go with you. Oh, you can't go with me. Why? Because you drive me crazy on a golf course. Then read me the funny. No, look out. I'm going to get my clubs and get out of here fast. Uh, where are my clubs? Well, I know I left them in this closet. I think I'll go to bed now. Snooks, you wait a minute. Where are my golf clubs? If I tell you, will you take me with you? No. 
and I don't know where they are. Goodbye. Come here. All right, tell me where they are, and I'll take you. You promise, Dad? Yes, I promise. Where are my clubs? I gave them to the junk man yesterday. What for? For a stack of funny papers. <laughs> you little... <laughs> Don't leave, folks. Baby Snooks and Daddy will be back later on in the program, and you'll meet them on the golf course. It cost me $2 to rent these broken-down clubs, and then I find the boss didn't wait for me. I'll probably get fired, too. Come on, let's get out of here. Aren't you going to play golf, Daddy? No, no use going out without... Oh, wait a minute. I might as well play nine holes. I paid my green fees and rented the clubs... But I'll play only on one condition, Snooks. You must remain absolutely quiet when I go to hit the ball. I promise, Daddy. All right. Let me get a ball out of the bag. Here's one, Daddy. Where'd you get that, Snooks? I found it when we was walking over here. Oh. Are you sure it was lost? Mm-hmm. I see the man looking for it. Oh, well. I'll turn it in later. Now, stand back. I want to take a practice swing with this driver. Ah, not bad, eh? <laughs> How do you like my form, Snooks? I think you're very pretty, Daddy. All right. Now I'm going to start. I don't get too close. What you doing? I'm putting the ball on the tee. Is that tea? Looks like dirt. It is dirt. You said it was tea. I know I did, but this tea isn't the same as the tea you drink. Why? Because one is a beverage and the other is ground. I thought coffee was ground. Oh. Coffee is ground. But this is a different tea and a different ground. Does that answer your question? I didn't ask you nothing. <laughs> well, don't. Now keep quiet and let me hit the ball. All right. Daddy! What is it? Where are you going to hit it to? You see that flag way down there? Is today a holiday? No, today's not a holiday. Then why have they got all the flags here? Those flags indicate the position of the green. What green? Where the hole is. Wherever you see a flag, there's a hole. Then why don't they fix it? Fix what? The hole in the flag. The flag hasn't got a hole in it. The green has a hole in it. Why? So I can crawl in and pull it over my head. <laughs> I'll stop that yelling. Now move back a little. And don't make a sound. You just watch the ball when I hit it. All right, Daddy. Now. Head down, right hand over. Bring the club back slowly. Daddy! Oh, what is it now? Why don't you hit the ball? That's what I'm trying to do. Now, why are you putting the stick around your neck? Oh, leave me alone. How will I ever shoot a par? Huh? I'm trying to shoot a par. Who's par you going to shoot, Daddy? Nobody's par. I said par, not par. The object of the game is to shoot par. Why don't you shoot more, Daddy? Now, don't give me ideas. <laughs> now, just let me drive off this first tee. People are all staring at us. All right. Now, don't make a sound. Now, here I go. Knees bent. Left shoulder down. Eye on the ball. You missed it, Daddy. Ah, uh, tough course. <laughs> Well, I guess this rented driver's no good. Oh, I wish I had a brassy. Why? Well, this cheap outfit only has five sticks. I usually carry ten. Why? Because I need them. Hagen has about twenty. Alex Morrison has twenty-four. Charlie Lacey has twenty-six. And, and all of us have thirty-one except February, which has twenty-eight. Ain't I smart, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, you're very smart. Now, keep quiet for two minutes and let me hit this ball. Now stand back. Eye on the ball. Firm grip. Right hand over. Come back slowly. Well, go ahead and talk if you're going to. I ain't going to talk, Daddy. Okay. Back slowly. Daddy! Oh, why did you do that? I want to hit the ball. Wait till we get off this first tee, and then I'll let you hit it. Now, keep quiet. I'm going to cloud it. Oh, where'd it go, Snooks? I didn't see it. Right under your foot. <laughs> ah. 
Guess I'm a little off my game. I never played so badly before. Have you ever played before, Daddy? <laughs> yes, I've played before, Daddy. Come on, let's walk down the fairway a little. These people watching me make me nervous. Think you're going to hit the ball, Daddy? Yes, as soon as we get a little close to the hole. Well, come on. <laughs> walk fast, Snooks. All right. Now, I'm going to drop the ball right here. I'll drop it over my shoulder so I won't be cheating. <laughs> now, this is about a four-iron shot. Head down. Head down. Find the ball. Find the ball. Sway the head. Sway the head. Back slow. Back slow. Oh, stop <laughs> that. Just turn around for one second. That's it. Now. Did you hit it, Daddy? And how? Carried over 60 yards, straight as an arrow. Except it's a little out of bounds. <laughs> Is that good? Not bad. Now, come on. I don't want to lose that ball. Let me hit it, Dad. In a minute. I think the ball went out right about here. Here's the ball, Daddy. I found it. Oh, what a bad lie. Why, nobody but a professional could make this shot to the green. Let me do it, Daddy. <laughs> All right, go ahead, you little smart Alec. I bet you won't even move the ball an inch. Take this club. Which way shall I hit it? Well, you see that flag? Aim for that. Now, just keep your head down and your eye on the ball and... No, don't, don't keep tell it... me, don't tell me. I want to hit it myself. I'll go ahead. Stand back, stand back. <laughs> well, I'll be... What a shot! Dead to the pin. No good? <laughs> Why, it's a miracle. Come on, let's see how close it is. All right. <laughs> Why, Snooks, look at that ball. Four inches from the cup. What do I have to do now, Daddy? Make it go in that little hole. Uh, oh, what are you yelling about? 